Welcome everyone to Brian's Action Figure Reviews and today we've got a brand new pop culture interview. Today I'm going to be chatting with Kieran Hoy who is the admin of Action Figures UK Collector Showroom which is one of the biggest UK based action figure groups on Facebook and here we go, enjoy. Welcome to Brian's Action Figure Reviews and today I've got another pop culture interview for you guys and today I've got Kieran Hoy who is the admin of Action Figure UK Collector's Showroom which is one of the biggest UK-based action figure groups on Facebook. How's it going, Kieran? Not too bad, mate. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. So let's get into this. Let's get into it fairly quickly. What got you into collecting action figures? To be honest, mate, um, years ago, my dad still does collect vintage action men. So I was brought up around the family collectors. My mum collected the vintage Star Wars, and my dad was always into vintage action men. So from him collecting from a young age, seeing it, I've always wanted to do it myself, so every so often I'll pick a little bit up each year. But over the last, say, four years, it's become more of an addiction of collecting then because I've got that much now. But it was never this bad. It was like the, like the Hobbit set, maybe, and then that'll be it that I'd forget about it. But the last three years have just been mayhem. <laughs> That's what it's like. I know. It's like it's like, it's a good addiction to have, I suppose, considering the other addictions out there. <laughs> so 100%. what's... So what would be, like, what's the most memorable or favourite toy you had as a kid? Um, so for me, it's always been Lord of the Rings, because I was born in 1996, so the film was out in 2001, weren't it? So I was always, I grew up around Lord of the Rings, so for me, it had to be the Lord of the Rings figures by Toy Bit. They was never made great, they was always, you'd always find a way to break them, they weren't made for kids, was they? So, <laughs> but honestly, Super Glue and all my old figures, that was the key. Was was there any figure in particular that you like brought ever with you or anything like that? Like my favorite figure would have been Boromir, oh, but nice. from from it, yeah, he he was at the time I don't know why, but he was the most difficult to get hold of. I know Toys R Us never had him, so we was never going, and he was never there. And never we were coming on one day with him, and it, honestly, it was a good day. That's because he's a local boy, I suppose. Sean Bean, everyone in the UK would have wanted him, I suppose. That's it. Um. So, what are you collecting at the moment? Whew, to be honest, I, I was meant to cut down. I was meant to heavily cut down, and I did so loads of stuff. And then I, I collect Asmus, which is the Lord of the Rings one and six. I collect the odd toy bit, like package one, but like it's still carded. Um, Mezco, and it's to be honest, mainly now it's 3A. Oh, nice. So, tell us about it. Like, you asked me the other day about 3A. Was he interested in something? And I actually don't know anything about them. So tell us a bit about 3A. What 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 do they do? A person who made it called Ashley Woods, and I think he what originally he just made like um like comics, but there was a, a bit of writing in it, like books. I've got one of his artwork, and it's just mainly art. And then he's done it from the figures. A bit more of the 3A people who are a bit more glued up on it, know a bit more about it than me. But I believe it was just made out of like. A, a, a graphic novel of pictures and then he made the figures like come basically alive but for me with them it's the size i think i know they do one and six but the one in 12 size I, I just think they're absolutely brilliant and the style of them with like the old fashioned with the dates and you know the dust it, i think they just look absolutely spot on yeah they're very like um apocalyptic kind of aren't they i've That's seen it. pieces they're the, the hard to get hold of, like, but if you do get hold of them, they're 100% worth keeping hold of. They're about 10 years old, maybe more, some of them, so they are great. Um, what was I going to say? So you collected, or sorry, you start, or you were part of um showroom. So what was the thinking behind creating another action figure group like that? When I made um action figure showroom, the idea was it for me to make it. I was in work one day and the idea of came to me head and I thought, why not make a group without rules such as other groups are so demanding, aren't they? And you, you, mm. you, you know, you do one thing, two things, and you don't realise you, you banned from the group. <laughs> and for me, that, that, that was annoying because I banned from a few of them just from doing silly mistakes of like not putting your name on a piece of paper. So the idea behind it was to make a group which is more laid back, chilled, and just no pressure from higher up telling you what you can and can't do obviously we do have some little ones in there but it's not not a major what's going to affect anyone and for me 
selling. I think it, it should be done privately. I don't agree with it done on the comments. And that was another thing. I wanted to let anyone do business behind closed doors rather than it be open you know, mm-hmm. to the public, basically. But that was the idea behind it. Um, I never thought it would, it would get as big as it did. I mean, like, I was happy with 500 members at one point. It went to 1K, and then next thing you know, with this, this 4.5K people in the group. So it, it, it's it's builded brilliantly, and I'm proud of it. So um, I have to ask this now, and don't be offended, but what do you think of um, the reputation it kind of has as being the Wild West group? Yeah, I've heard, um, I've heard a few people mention that it's the Wild West West group, but to be honest with you, yeah, it, it, it probably is spot on. It, there is no other name. It can be the Wild West group, but if we're asked to get involved, we will get involved. We try and keep everything in order, as you as you would say. Um, we never really get much of like people f- like frauding and stuff like that on the group. Yeah. It, the odd few does come, but it's very rare that I'm sitting on my phone sorting stuff out. Maybe once every couple of weeks, it'll be that, not even that. But the Wild West group. I'll take that any day. <laughs> Excellent. Like, being honest, from my own point of view, I love it. I love the idea because, like, you shouldn't have to kitty, Johnny, you shouldn't have to hold ha- hold people's hands when you're dealing with adults and action figure stuff. Like, they, sh- I agree. they should be able to look after themselves. Like, you know? That's I, it. And I mean, I, no, go on. That's it. And beyond it, that was the idea. As I said, we're all adults. If you can't do business like an adult, maybe you shouldn't be on on a group. Maybe you shouldn't speak to adults. That's true. That was oh, yeah. it. Like I've like I've had bans from figure groups in the past for silly things that could have totally been avoided. So I totally agree with your uh, the mantra behind the group. So like, have you had any like major problems from people being absolute arseholes and stuff like? In we, it's 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 rare we do it, but we obviously every group has that couple of people who were a pain but mainly it's it is rare we, we get someone like that in the group but and if you do i try and deal with it as best as i can i just try and say just you know there's no point i don't know i'm just leave it like forget about it it's done yeah. you know that's it that's what i try and do but obviously if if it's someone who's like a fraud straight away if i see a bit of evidence what's sent to me on messenger the block from the group and they're never in the group again and that's how it works yeah excellent so let's change gears for a second what would be your favorite franchise can be movie f- games whatever it's got to be lord of the rings hasn't it <laughs> if you're counting that you, as one what do you think of the new um the plans for a new amazon show actually as a big lord of the rings fan Oh, it's, it's been brewing, hasn't it, for about three, four years, maybe a bit more. I mean, like, I'm, I'm, I can't wait for it. It's just if you're gonna get the right actors to play the right parts, it's the biggest thing for me. Because if Strad is gonna be in it, you know, Vigo, he's obviously not gonna be in it as him, is it? It's gonna be another actor who's playing Aragon. So it's you've got to get the right person in to play the right part. I do want it to happen, no, hundred percent. And what did you think of the Hobbit trilogy? The Hobbit for me was a letdown. Yeah. Majorly. I mean, like... Too many... It's a small story, like, so it didn't need three movies. That's it. Lord of the Rings, you could have done that over six films, you know. This this was spread out over three. And for me, it was it was just stupid stuff. Like, the Orc's armour was more detailed, but it was years before the Lord of the Rings. And I just thought, that, that makes no sense. Trolls are speaking in the Hobbit. There's no trolls that speak in the Lord of the Rings. It was just little bits like that. Like yeah. it just threw me off. Um. So the next one then will be, what will be your favorite character from any anything? Ian McKellen, Gandalf. Oh, excellent choice. <laughs> he's 100%. he's an absolutely superb actor. Like, um. If, go on. If if I, if. If it got to meet him, like I think I'd probably cry. Like that's how that's how much like, <laughs> I, like I like him. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna get a tattoo kind of as well. So I'm a big big fan of Ian McKellum. Excellent. What do you think of like? Have you seen? You've surely seen him in X Men. What do you think of him in that? Magneto is excellent again. Do you know, there's no better actor at his age. You you could do that. I I think he's he's literally one of the best actors. Him like, and Christopher Lee. 
when I am um, when I read an X Men comic now and Magneto is in it, I hear I hear his voice and I'm fucking reading yeah. Magneto like. <laughs> it's early. It's really he's just got that voice. Okay. Yeah, he's got that voice that sticks with you. Um, okay, so what I always ask, I've actually forgotten this question a few times lately, but what if you could make any action figure from any line, like any character that hasn't been made, what would what would it be and who would make it? Oh. Do you know what? Asmus, again, Lord of the Rings, it's got to be. Is it Lurtz? Is that how you pronounce his name? The, the Uruk Eye guy, is it? Yeah, yeah, number one. I'm sure it's late. That's how you pronounce it. Yeah, yeah. Him. him as a one and six guy from Asmus. It'll be great. Nice. Maybe that's one they should look into. I'd actually lo- I, like, I myself, I would love if NECA did Lord of the Rings. I think they'd do a fucking savage job of it. App- apparently, Dam and Select are doing them, aren't they? And uh, looking mm-hmm. at the figures from them, they look standard. No, for like, I think they're 20 quid each, but they look decent. Yeah, I'm thinking of buying a few, like I, I saw that. Um, I think it, they're doing a build a figure Sauron or something, aren't they? With the first wave. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. It's class. <laughs> the thing is, though, I, I just have to buy the figures carded and then buy a Sauron off eBay because I couldn't open them. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. Oh, you're you're an MOC guy, are yeah? you? Yeah, if it's if it comes packaged, it's staying packaged. Oh. <laughs> I have to let them breathe. <laughs> Not on the cars, but you can't put them back in. Mezco, yeah, because you can put them back in the box. Yeah, Same with Necker. Yeah. But no, that, if it's carded, oh, that's a no-go for me, that one. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Um, so, plug yourself, plug the group, tell everyone where we can find Action Figure UK Showroom. Um, if you just go on Facebook and type in Action Figure UK Collector Showroom, It'll come up, most likely one of the first searches on the bar. Um, backgrounds is a black background with the eight photos, which is chosen by, well, not chosen, chosen by me and Adam, but it, behind it is people in the group take photos of the collection and we put a comment and everyone comments and then the best eight or the best thing we like would go on the photo for a month or two until we decide to change it. But it's a straightforward as that. Facebook, search Action the UK, collect the showroom and we're there. I think the first month you did the photo thing, I one of my photos was on the banner. So there. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> I think well it was done. a chucky, a chucky one or something like that. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I love the way you do that as well. It's a great showcase for people to get their stuff shown on the banner and everything. It's really cool. That that's it. And it's about. It's not just about buying, selling, trading. It's about showing your collection to other fellow members, and it's about talking. It's a community. You want to make friends. You know, I went to London with a couple of the guys off the group in January, um, John, Ray and Trev, and it was a, it was great, you know what I mean? A, a day in London, having a drink, getting drunk, and what's not more to life? We went Forbidden Planet. It, it was a great day. So thanks a million for coming on, Kieran. It was great having you on the show. And we will be sharing the link for the group, obviously. In, and this will be going up on the group as well as I throw all my stuff on there. <laughs> That's fine with me. Thanks very much, man. It was um, a pleasure having you on and stuff. It's been a pleasure that, like asking me to come on. And I, I've enjoyed it. Nice one. I really appreciate the opportunity. No problem. So that was my interview with Kieran Hoy of UK Collector's Showroom. I hope you enjoyed the interview. Make sure to check out that group if you're on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to myself as well. There'll be plenty more pop culture interviews in the pipeline. And loads of reviews. And don't forget Retro Wrestle Chat every Monday night as well. So thanks guys, we'll see you soon. Bye!